flagging has been around as far back as the gold rush in San Francisco. It got a rebirth in the, the, the 1970s by gay bisexual men in the United States. It has since grown to include Canada and parts of Europe. It also includes all types of gender and sexual orientation. In the mid to late century, cowboys, miners, railroad workers, and other professionals often wore a variety of different colored bandanas. During the gold rush, there was a shortage of women. So the men would dance with other men in the square dances, and they developed a code for showing who would act as the male part and who would act as the female part. These bandanas were typically worn around the neck, with the knot facing towards the left for the masculine role and the right for the feminine role. Fast forward a bit, and in the early 1970s, a journalist for the New York City Village Voice tabloid joked in an article that instead of using one's car keys to signify if one was a top or a bottom in the gay male sex scene, that it would make more sense to subtly announce their particular sex focus by wearing a different colored hanky, and the movement took off. Especially since this was one year after the Stonewall riots in New York City, the forefront of the gay rights movement. These bandanas were typically worn tied around one's arms, hanging from their belt, or in the back pocket of one's jeans. Since being gay identified was still seen as a mental illness, you could be publicly or legally condemned. It was punishable by losing your job, and hatred ran rampant for anyone identified within the queer community. The secret code was incredibly important as well as helpful. In gay bars, it helped men find other gay or bisexual men who were into the same things that they were. And in public, it allowed people to safely show their community and to meet others with similar interests. So just like in the 19th century, the miners went square dancing. And so to show whether they were top or bottom, top meaning they were more dominant and bottom meaning they were more um, submissive. <laughs> they would use that now as a way to reference um, their gay sex and different fetishes. So it's changed a lot since the 1970s and today it's more inclusive to the people um, of all orientations and genders. It's primarily seen around San Francisco at queer and non-heteronormative events such as SF Pride, the Folsom Street Fair, Up Your Alley, dance clubs, and you know other places throughout the Castro. So what do all the colors mean? There really is no universally understood color code. It depends on the region, but certain colors are fairly consistent, such as bright yellow for urolagina, brown for corpophilius, and black for sadomasochism. Not only do these colors represent something, but also so does the pattern and the fabric that the bandanas are made out of. Hey everybody, so I'm back, and I'm gonna show you top to down what my flags mean. So at the top, when I have a flag on the top of my head, that means I'm averse, which means I like to switch whether I'm a dominant or a submissive role when I'm having intimate times. Um, with this flag in particular, it's a leopard one, which means I like tattoos as well as, well, I have tattoos. <laughs> so if you go to my arm, it's a like straight gray flag, and it's on my right side, meaning I like to be tied up. And then back here, on my right side, I have a pink flag, and that means that I like to receive dildos. It's just a different... <laughs> First, I'm wearing black and white checkers on my left side, which means I'm always prepared for safe sex. I have this red one on my head, which signifies a switch, fisty and fister. I got this one right here, which is paisley, and signifies that I like to be wearing the boxer shorts. And Thank then you. this one right here means that I like drag kings and drag queens. So what are you wearing? So the purple on my left wrist symbolizes that I like to pierce people. Over here, the black is I am a sadomasochist bottom. On my back right pocket, I have a medium blue, which is cop sucker. 
and on my right leg I have fuchsia, which is spank. So as you can see by my head, right now I have a maroon bandana on, which means I'm really into blood play, so I'm down to cut other people, as well as I don't mind being cut myself. In my back pockets here, you can see that I have orange, meaning that typically, although I am a polyamorous individual, currently I'm in a monogamous relationship. And so not now just looking for other individuals, but not necessarily down to try anything tonight. And from my left pocket, as you can see, it's a pale yellow. The pale is very important, because that means that my partner's into drool, and I don't mind spinning in the mouth or at them.